what's going on guys and welcome back to the channel welcome back it's your boy terabyte here with another reaction for y'all um hopefully you guys are enjoying the reactions on the channel for westworld we're jumping into episode four today and as we go along you guys are going to see how much grinding i'm putting in right now google drive is back up and running we're able to upload these reactions man last episode we saw some great development we kind of understand what bernard is going through especially with his son um i think that's the reason that's why um guy was trying to tell him hey bro remember they're not real man i know you're still going through this, the the pain of losing your son but we can't correlate but bernard kind of looked like he ignored all of that and just going all in and having these deep conversations with dolores and telling her hey don't let anybody know about these conversations you know what I'm saying? Don't tell anybody you've been having these conversations. You know what I'm saying? So he's kind of putting her, you know what I'm saying? Like he's not revealing too much, but he's also revealing too much. <laughs> you get, you, you know what I mean? Like he's telling her stuff she's not supposed to know, but also he's not telling her the entire truth. So it, it just goes to show you where what they're trying to do as this loud ass truck past my door my my um, house this is nuts okay what he's what he's doing is not okay you do not do this especially with something that is so closely closely the the ai technology that they have or that they've achieved is unprecedented you know what i'm saying it's unprecedented to the point where i understand that they're all they're like walking computers you know what i'm saying like they're not even it's to the point that's way beyond robotics it's way beyond you know something being a robot or, or, or whatever the situation is it's so human like if you allow them without if you just let them loose <laughs> you know what i'm saying they would probably surpass humans. They're, they're still, you know, just, they're not flesh and bone. You know what I'm saying? They're, they're simulated flesh and, you know, skeletal iron. It's probably carbon fiber they use to create, create their robotic structure. Um, you know, and it's just crazy to see. It's so interesting to see all these different storylines because you're like okay this new guy that came in him and his brother-in-law um what are what is their part going to play he's going to be super sentimental towards this towards dolores now and because he feels you know what i'm saying because he got a wife at home and he's married to this dude's sister so i don't know man i don't know i think he's getting i think he's getting to that place where he feels like he's not in the, in the, the um, he feels like he's still in the real world right now. And that's going to prove to be detrimental later on because see the, the thing about it is I don't have a problem with people going to go into this world and, you know, living out a fantasy or whatever, but remain cognizant of the fact, you know what I'm saying? Remain cognizant of the fact that this is not real. You can do that fine do whatever you want you're not shooting real people you know what i'm saying sometimes you really do need to go and you know exercise these demons you know what i'm saying and if a place can provide that that's why we have hobbies that's why we do other things that's why we go to disney world that's why you get what i'm saying is to get away from the regular normal stuff and just kind of enjoy yourself entertainment some people there's a higher level of entertainment that they enjoy than others like some people you know go do bungee jumping or you know skydiving or you know just doing crazy stuff climb a tall building like you know what i'm saying just do amazing stuff get your butt your blood pumping and stuff like that people do that stuff all the time so i'm not surprised that you know or against the fact that people would want to go here and you can do practically anything there's no consequences you get what i'm saying now you have to remember it's not the real world okay i'll see you guys for the review
Wow, what an episode. I think the best yet. The best episode yet. For real, for real. You know what I'm saying? We got Ford. You know what I'm saying? Putting old girl. Putting her on her. Uh, uh, putting her. Not necessarily on game, but letting her know. It's like, you see the kind of control I have over this, over these hosts, right? Y'all trying to play me? Y'all better go along with whatever I say. You know what I'm saying? Cause right now I could, you know what I'm saying? I could, I, I could have had this way to slit your throat. We ain't, but we ain't playing no games around here. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I'm telling you, man. I'm loving this series. I didn't know Westworld. I knew it was popular, but I didn't know that it was this good. I didn't know the narrative behind it or anything like that. So it's just the clear um, observation, the clear you know, a declaration. It's still so many things around this series that, it, and, and yet still so much is not being revealed, but they're little by little finding out that they're not real, bro. But they have these emotions. And that's the thing, you cannot, you cannot program emotions into anything. The minute you start doing that, you are giving them the opportunity to find out who they are. And, and and that's the thing that's going to mess with everything that they've created because they're giving them the opportunity to know who they are. We finally found out what the hell um, Ed's character need, you know, wants to see. He wants to know what's the ending, what's the point of this all, of this game. You know, and that's what he's searching for. He's like, he's been playing this thing for 30 years, and obviously he's a big shot. You know what I'm saying? I mean, everybody that's in this world that has taken this ride that are actual human beings, they're all rich people. You know what I'm saying? So, it, it I mean, it's not surprising that he's there, but it is surprising that somebody actually... <laughs> People actually recognize him in the game. It's like, oh, you saved my daughter's life, man. It's so awesome, blah, blah, blah. You know what I'm saying, man? It's like, listen, if you don't stop talking, this is my vacation, my guy. I'm not here to talk business. I don't want to get no pat on the back, no nothing like that. And to be honest, a lot of people have said this about, about celebrities. And it's the reason why, you know, people say never meet your heroes. Because you never know what they're going to be when they're being real. You know what I'm saying? Like sometimes people do put on these, put on these facades and and unrealistic um, faces for the public. You get what I'm saying? Just to get the day going by. Because when you're famous, you know people expect you to always be smiling, always in the good, always in. in you know what I'm saying? You, you, you're supposed to always be in the black you know what i'm saying you're always supposed to be on the right side of the equation never the left side else they'll crucify you so the thing about it is when you're famous and you're just trying to breathe say for instance you're an american celebrity you go to a different country somebody recognizes you and you tell them to back off now it's big news because you know what i'm saying listen i just want to be here with my kids and have a meal can i do that without you ask coming over asking me for an autograph and i'm the type of person like i've seen celebrities before you know what i'm saying i used to live in new york so i used to see celebrities all the time i never went up to any of them asking for anything you get what i'm saying because to me to me it's just not appropriate we got to realize that these people are human beings also yes they're in the public eye but it's not their responsibility to sign autographs for you. It's not. And some people think it is just because you're you're a famous person and just because you're in the public eye that they have the right to walk up to you while you're having a meal or something like that and to tell you, oh, I'm your biggest fan and blah, blah. Nah, bruh. It's not your right. You don't have the right to do that. Leave people be, especially when they're not in a setting where they're supposed to be signing autographs or you know what i'm saying when it's expected of them it's expected of them award shows you know what i'm saying like if they if they're having a concert or or something of the sort or you get what i'm trying to say like in those spaces they know they have a job to do but like you know celebrities having 
kids, you know what I'm saying, having a meal at McDonald's with their kids or whatever the situation is, and they, they chose, you know, to just sit in sit in there and, and, and eat, it's not your right to go up to them and disturb their meal or whatever the situation to get an autograph or a picture or whatever the situation is. And some celebrities are nice about that, but I'm telling you all, I'm telling you right now, if I get famous on YouTube, you recognize me in the streets and you see me having a meal with my girl or whatever, and you come over. Nah, nigga, wait until I'm done. I'm going to tell you that straight up. I'm like, listen, I'll meet you outside. <laughs> if you want to wait around, I'll meet you outside for like, you know what I'm saying? And we could take a picture, but not right now. I'm eating. I'm that type of person. And you can think whatever you want off me, off me after that. But at the end of the day, that's what I'm going to tell you. I don't think I'll ever be off that status. I don't think I'll ever be because I don't want to be. You get what I'm saying? If it happens, it happens. And I'm not, that's not what I'm doing YouTube for. You know what I'm saying? But I think maybe in like, you know, another like five years or something, if I'm still doing YouTube, hopefully I'm still doing YouTube and doing reactions by then and nothing happens to the channel. You know what I'm saying? I think, you know, by that time in another five years, I should hit at least 50K to 100K in subscribers where, we, you know what I'm saying? Like, so that's what I'm hoping for. But at the same time, it's like, if if I get to that point, that's still not YouTube famous, but I'm pretty sure. Cause people, even when I was, I had like, I think it was like two or 3,000, somebody recognized me in the streets and you know, they, they just said hi, and I said hi back, what's up, man, enjoy your reactions, whatever the situation is, you know what I'm saying, and I say hi back, I'm not an asshole, but if I'm having a certain kind of moment, like if I'm at the beach, or where I'm just relaxing somewhere, you see me in a restaurant, or you know what I'm saying, you see me enjoy something with my family, or I'm just trying to have a meal or something, you do not have the right to approach me in that situation, because first of all we don't really know each other you get what i'm saying unless you're one of my subscribers that i talk to regularly like on discord or we're friends and we play games together you know what i'm saying or whatever the situation is like that's a whole different story because at that point our level of friendship has grown from just you being subscribed to the channel now i consider us a community and a family don't get me wrong on the channel you get what I'm saying? But outside of this, you get what I'm saying? People can misconstrue what the relationship is. And it's happened before on the channel too. So in my opinion, when it comes when it comes on to um, people might say, oh, you're in the public high, I have the right. No, you do not. I'm still a human being and I still am entitled to my space. And everybody needs to understand that. I'm not saying that celebrities have never been assholes. They have been. You know what I'm saying? But at the same time, you got to understand and understand their perspective. Sometimes people go off for no reason on, you know, people who admire them and stuff like that. I'm not for that. I'm not the type of person who's going to go off on you. But I'm going to explain to you the situation clearly and concisely for you to understand. But I'm not going to disrespect you in the process, right? So... So I'm saying about this series, man, I really do enjoy because it, it does pose a lot of conversations that you would have normally. So the storyline between, you know what I'm saying, it's going on with Dolores and, you know, this guy that she's with, she's way off out of her loop. She's way off out of her loop right now. And I don't know what they're going to do to get her back because she's with a guest, so they don't really care. So, um, I mean, they tried to decommission her but do turned up kind of saved her and whatever so they did they just let it go so we have that going on you know what i'm saying the board is trying to get ford under control you know what i'm saying because of this new storyline that he's creating that is creating chaos in, in 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 you know for all the other narratives and he doesn't care he's like i'm the one in charge i'm the one that created all of this stop playing with me you know what i'm saying he told her, he's like, listen, I know you're sleeping with Bernard. I know everything about you. I know everything about everybody that's around here. You know what I'm saying? Our guests, the, the employees, everybody. I know everything about y'all. Do y'all see what I've created? I've created artificial intelligence around this piece. Okay? Stop playing with me. 
I got the juice. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So I really respect that. Um, you know, but this is getting crazy with, you know, old girl finding out really get, she literally pulled a screw out of herself. I think it was a screw, you know what I'm saying? A coil coiled up, whatever it is that dude took out of her, you know what I'm saying? Cause he's like, I, she was like, I was shot. And now there's no point. I knew I was shot. You know what I'm saying? I don't know if but it proves that she's not crazy. So what is going to happen now? You know what I'm saying? Because how are they going to know that she's repairing herself? Is she going to repair herself or she's going to get repaired? Whatever the situation is. But the thing about it is that they're on a loop. They're not really retaining any of these memories. But something is causing them to re to remember these these things. And I'm all for it. I, I, I live for controversies <laughs> like these because I want to see what they're going to do. How are they going to rebel? You know what I'm saying? How are they going to find these little things to, you know what I'm saying? Already, they're not okay with what's going on, especially with Dolores and Thandie Newton's character. It's, it is what it is. But anyways, we're going to move on because the thing about it, like, I'm so excited to watch this. I want to watch a couple more episodes, but I got to watch. I got to wait until next week. <laughs> to watch a couple more episodes but anyways guys thank you guys so much for tuning in as always man it's your boy terabyte reacts don't forget to like the video don't forget to comment let me know what you thought of episode four the first time you watched it it was exciting it was blood pumping man and plus i had some good wine to go with it but anyways thank you guys so much i appreciate you and i will catch you guys later man Peace.